congratulations. You have just found the number one over 50 health and wellness podcast on the planet. Hello, and welcome to the Over 50 Health and Wellness Podcast. I'm your host, Kevin English. I'm the founder of The Silver Edge, and our mission is to help you build and maintain a lean, healthy body that you love for the rest of your life so that you can show up in the second half of your life as the healthiest, strongest, most vital version of yourself. Today, we have another episode of The Coach's Corner, so there's no guest, it's just me, and we'll be back next week with our normal interview format. But today I want to talk to you guys about the power of mindset and just how important mindset is when it comes to achieving a lifelong, lean, strong, healthy body. And then after that, I transition to talk to you folks for a few minutes about the world's greatest workout program. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with today's show. Are you interested or committed? Okay, so I've been obsessed with mindset lately. And when I say obsessed with mindset, I'm talking about mindset when it comes to body transformation or health transformations in our age demographic. So that's those of us in our 50s, 60s, and 70s. So I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of health and wellness podcasts, but I also listen to a lot of business podcasts, a lot of specifically entrepreneur type podcasts. And today I heard a podcast, I think it was the ClickFunnels radio podcast, something like that. And they had a guest on, a guy named John Asaraf, I think, was the guest. Somebody who I'd never heard of before, but he posed this question. He told this story, this very life transformational story for himself, where he was asked the question, are you interested or are you committed? And in this podcast, he was specifically talking about mindset and neuroplasticity, which I'm going to get ready to get into in a little bit of detail here, in a business and kind of entrepreneurial setting. But I thought that this was a fascinating, fascinating conversation. In fact, so much so that I've already reached out to this guy to see if I can get his guest on this show. So you guys may hear this story I'm getting ready to tell you in his own words here in the future. But basically, pose this question in this business context. Are you interested in achieving these outcomes or are you committed? And here's the difference. When somebody says they're interested, They allow their stories, their reasons, their excuses to control their thinking and their behavior. These folks are willing to do what's easy and convenient, and they believe their disempowering beliefs, and they reinforce their disempowering habits that accompany those beliefs. Now, on the other hand, when somebody is committed, they upgrade their identity to match this new destiny. They upgrade their beliefs, their perspectives, their habits, and course, they upgrade their knowledge and their skills to match the level of success that they say they want. So let me ask you, when it comes to your body composition and your long-term health, that is building and maintaining a lean, strong, capable, healthy body, are you interested or are you committed? And now that begs the question, what would you need to believe in order to make your visions and your goals your new reality? You'd need to believe you're good enough. You need to believe you're smart enough. You need to believe that it's possible. You'd need to believe that you could find whatever help you need. You'd need to believe that you are worthy. You have to believe, basically, that you can upgrade your identity. And then going along with that, how do we get rid of these limiting beliefs, this negative self-talk, and instead develop empowering constructive self-talk that moves you towards your goals versus these destructive, disempowering patterns that often make up our current self-image? So we don't have a user's manual for our brain. None of us do that I know of. So how do we use this amazing machine better? This is where the concept of neuroplasticity comes in. And basically here's what, and I'm obviously I'm paraphrasing what this guy said, this, um, this John Asaraf guy, but he introduced this concept of all people are born without any preconceived beliefs, fears, feelings of unworthiness. So in other words, he says, we're born without an identity or a concept of self-worth. Now, our brains have about 100 billion cells in them, and these cells all make connections. And over time, these connections are reinforced, and this becomes your conditioned mind. And over time, these reinforced connections, say a self-limiting belief, for example, 
becomes automatic so that it requires zero energy to activate. The brain is very, very efficient, very complex, obviously. And over time, if we have this reinforced negative belief or self-limiting belief, it becomes automatic. We don't even think about it. We don't spend any energy on it. It's just automatically wired into our brain. All of us have these disempowering beliefs that have become automatic. Things like, I'm too old, I'm not smart enough, or I'm too this, or I don't have enough of that, etc., etc. You guys know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. These are your beliefs, and these beliefs, often negative, drive your behavior, and they're limiting you. So here's the question. Can we deactivate a belief pattern and replace it with a more empowering, constructive, positive belief pattern? And the answer, according to this guy, John, is 100% absolutely yes. In fact, the latest research in neuroplasticity from just last year says emphatically, yes, we can. The same way that we build muscle, we can actually build belief. In fact, John used the term neuromuscles, and we can build our neuromuscles just the same way we build the muscles of our body. So think about this. All of our self-esteem, our self-worth, our image, our habits are nothing more than a pattern that has been created in the brain and been repeatedly reinforced, and so it's now become automatic. So if it's true that you can literally rewire your brain for any success, the next question becomes how. How can you literally and deliberately, fundamentally change yourself? And the answer lies in getting your self-talk patterns right and then you start to see this neuroplasticity taking effect. So if you say, for example, I am so happy and grateful that I have this lean, strong, healthy body. And maybe for you, that's not true right now. But when you say this out loud, one part of your brain is calling BS. You absolutely don't have a lean, strong, healthy body right now. But if you keep repeating this over and over every day, every time you say this, you're activating and creating a pattern in your brain. Now, what happens is over time, this pattern starts to create these connections and these connections get stronger and stronger. So, in fact, I think John said it takes, if I'm not mistaken, it was a weird number. I think it's 66 days for an old pattern to start to release and the new one to start to become cemented. So when you affirm this statement, you affirm in your mind, you create this deliberate positive language pattern around something that may not even be real, at least not today. Something, again, like, I am so happy and grateful that I have this lean, strong, healthy body. I'm at my ideal body weight, and I have so much energy and confidence. And even if this is an outright lie for you today, when you repeat this, and you emotionalize this, and you visualize this, you're activating these new neural patterns, and you're literally becoming this new person. Remember, we said that the brain is amazingly efficient and complex. And when we do this long enough, these new positive patterns become automatic. They become the default program. The brain says, well, I'm going to release this old pattern because I got to make room for this new one. We'll now make this new one the default. And this, by this new one, I mean this positive reinforcement, right? And now John never used the word manifesting, I don't think, in the podcast episode I listened to. But when viewed through this context, it seems to me that manifesting becomes way less woo-woo, right? You hear a lot of folks talking about manifesting their future, manifesting wealth, manifesting health, manifesting love, etc. And very often when I hear these people speak, at least, uh, I get this kind of a, this feeling of, I don't know, that sounds a little woo-woo, but certainly not the way this guy was explaining it. And now he went on, and I mean, he went on for quite some time about the subject. He talks about there's an Einstein part of the brain, what he calls an Einstein part of the brain and a Frankenstein part of the brain, all super fascinating stuff. But I found this discussion to be fascinating on so many levels, which brings me back to mindset. We know that well over 90% of people who attempt to lose weight fail at long-term, lifelong, healthy body composition. And now look, there's a bunch of reasons for this, not the least of which is our toxic diet culture and the overabundance of conflicting information. I think the number one reason has to do with mindset. Now, here at the Silver Edge, we have coached well over 100 clients, and I can tell you right now that the ones that learn to fall in love with the process of being a lean, healthy, fit person are the ones with the greatest chance of lifelong success. Now, those that view exercise and eating healthy and healthy habits as chores, 
these are folks that grit their teeth and they do these behaviors just because they want the result, they're doomed to failure. You just can't rely on motivation, grit, and determination to carry you through if you truly want a lifelong transformation. At some point, you have to become the person who truly enjoys living this healthy lifestyle. So here's my challenge for you. If you're somebody who has a health initiative, maybe you have a weight loss initiative, you want to get healthy, you want to get fit, whatever it is, my challenge to you is to become that person before you're that person. Right now, right where you are today. And I would even challenge you to, to go with this 66 days of some sort of positive affirmation where you say it every single day. You say it multiple times a day. And you don't just say it, you emotionalize it. You visualize it. You start to become it. And see if your brain doesn't lead the way, if your mindset doesn't lead the way for lifelong positive body change. So I'll end this segment with this very simple question. Ask yourself right now, are you interested in building and maintaining a lean, strong, healthy body that you love for the rest of your life? Or are you committed? The World's Best Workout Program. Okay, so you may have heard me, or somebody else for that matter, say that you should be following a professionally designed strength training program. In fact, I would even throw in there that you should be following a professionally designed age-appropriate strength program. And just to be very, very clear, when I say age-appropriate, I'm not talking about those little pink one and two pound dumbbells. I'm talking about functional, real-life movements that we get strong and more capable in, that we take care of our mobility that we're training in multiple planes of movement to make us strong, healthy, capable, vital human beings. And if you've heard that, it's absolutely true. You should be following a professionally designed age-appropriate strength training program. All of us should. Because if you want to build and maintain a lean, strong, healthy body, you need to be following some great programming. But where do we find these? How do we find age-appropriate professionally designed workout programs? Luckily, you're in the right place because today I'm going to hook you up. So if you're someone who's been hitting the gym and just making up your own routines, or maybe you're following something you saw on YouTube, or maybe you're following a buddy's workout program, something like that, it's time to level up, especially if you're not getting the results you want. Or if you're someone who's brand new to working out and you want a safe, reliable workout program, I've got you covered. So here's the deal. We've teamed up with the guys over at Mind Pump to offer you their MAPS workout programs. These guys have over 20, it's well over 20 unique workout programs that are all professionally designed and beloved by thousands. But heck, it may even be millions by now. And these guys have got a program for everyone, and I mean every single one of you listening right now. From the complete and total newbie, to the obstacle course junkie, to the professional bodybuilder. All of them. And what I thought I'd do is go over a few of my favorite programs. I've personally run most of their programs. Actually, most might be a little strong, but I've run a bunch of these and I own pretty much all of them. And I've got a couple of them that are in constant rotation that I occasionally revisit. But before we get to the programs, let's talk about what a professional program consists of. Most of these MAPS programs are 12-ish weeks long. And they are periodized, meaning they have multiple phases. So a very common example would be a 12-week program that has four weeks of strength work, followed by a four-week hypertrophy block, and then maybe concluding with four weeks of pump work or muscular endurance type work. And this periodization is critical for optimal muscle growth. Your body is very, very good at adaptation, and by changing up the stimulus, we can continue to progress. And inside of each of these phases, you have the actual workouts. So this will give you the actual exercise, exercise description, video demonstration, so you can ensure you're using proper form. Gives you, of course, your sets and your reps and your rest periods, as well as, say, suggested levels of intensity. All right. So I thought it would be fun here to share with you a few of my favorite programs for our demographic. And now when I say our demographic, I am talking about the 50, 60, maybe even 70 year old who is looking to build a lean, strong, capable, healthy body. I want to build a little bit of muscle, lose a little bit of body fat. All right. So let's start with the complete beginner, or maybe this could be somebody who's returning to the gym after a very long time or somebody who's just very deconditioned. If that's you, I recommend MAPS Starter. 
this is a great way to ease into strength training. It has lots of mobility as well. And all you need for this program is a physio ball and some dumbbells. So you could do these workouts in a gym or you could do them at home. There are four foundational workouts per week, and each one starts with a priming session. And now this is a 12-week program. It's broken into three phases, and each phase gets progressively a bit more challenging. Your first phase is a strength foundation phase. Phase two is a strength stability phase. And then your final phase is a strength hypertrophy phase. And if you're not sure what hypertrophy means, that just means growth. So when we talk about strength hypertrophy or muscle hypertrophy, we're talking about growth and toning. So you guys, you want to get jacked, you're interested in hypertrophy. You ladies want to have that lean toned look, you're absolutely interested in hypertrophy. All right. So that's a great starting place for any of you that are beginners, deconditioned, or just taking a long time away from working out. I love that MAP starter program. But for the rest of you, let's start our discussion with their three foundational programs, and that's MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. These three programs were designed to be run in this order, and in fact, they're bundled together in something called the RGB Bundle. But I'll go on record as saying that I love Anabolic and I love Performance for our demographic, but... I'd be careful recommending aesthetic for uh, most of us over 50. I would reserve that for more of our advanced lifters who have fairly aggressive aesthetic body composition goals. So Anabolic is the program that got it all started. It is their flagship program, and it is a fantastic, well-rounded strength training program. Anabolic is a 12-week program. It's divided into four phases. So it has a pre-phase, which is optional, right? Again, if you're somebody who's been out of the gym for a little while or maybe a little deconditioned, definitely don't skip the pre-phase. But then the other three phases are a strength phase, a hypertrophy phase, and a pump phase. And the first three phases are actually two-day-a-week full-body workouts, and there is a three-day option. And that last phase is a three-day-a-week full-body workout. And this is where I was first introduced to the concept of trigger sessions. So MAPS Anabolics has trigger sessions in them. And these are short, say, sub 10-minute workouts done on your non-foundational workout days. And the idea is that they're not grueling workouts, but this is just a small muscle-building signal to the brain to reinforce the foundational workout's muscle-building signal. Next up is MAPS Performance. This was written and is intended to be a follow-up to MAPS Anabolic, and it is a fantastic follow-on program. Anabolic is very much standard front-to-back frontal plane kind of movement, and in performance, we get some unconventional multi-planar movements with lots of rotational and unilaterally loaded movements, which are perfect for those of us over 50 looking for real-world functional strength as we age. This is also a 12-week program, and you get phase one is raw strength, phase two is reactive strength, phase three is explosive strength, and then that fourth and final phase is strength durability designed to increase endurance and conditioning. This program has three foundational full body workout days, each followed by a fabulous 15 to 20 minute mobility session. I highly recommend this program for our age group, for its non-traditional exercises, for its mobility work, and for its functional aging components. Great program strongly recommend. And speaking of mobility, these guys have two mobility programs. There's MAPS Prime and MAPS Prime Pro. I suggest going with Prime Pro. This program is designed to help you self-assess your movement, movement patterns, and unbalances. And look, if you're listening to this in your past 50, you definitely have some imbalances. And it helps you come up with a correctional plan to improve movement and reduce pain. Another strong, strong recommendation on this program, most of us should be focusing more on our mobility as we age. And speaking of imbalances, next up for the over 50 crew, I love Map Symmetry. So Map Symmetry is a unilaterally based program, meaning most of the work is single leg and single arm work. And this unique program has four phases, and I think it's 11 weeks long. The first phase is two weeks long, and it consists of some static isometric work, which if you've never done that before, can be quite challenging. And if you've never done it before, just by the very novelty of the stimulus, you'll see some great results from this as well. It's followed up by phase two, which focuses on muscle building. Phase three focuses more on muscle sculpting. 
And then interestingly enough, the final phase is a straight up five by five powerlifting type routine. Again, great, great program for those of us over 50, really designed to help even out imbalances in the body. Again, if you're over 50, you've got some imbalances in your body. This is a great program to periodically come back to. So this is one that I might personally run maybe uh, once a year, for example. All right, moving right along. The last one I want to talk to you about today for recommendation, specifically for us over 50 folks, is their most recent program, and that's called MAPS 40 Plus, and the idea of 40 Plus for people over 40. Now, I heard some rumors that this was getting ready to come out, and I was just a little bit hesitant to say, oh, no, please don't let this be some watered-down thing for, you know, considering those of us, in this case, over 40 as being feeble and unable of, to, you know, to do real functional strength movements. It's not. This is a fantastic program. I just got this program. It was just released, I think, last month. And I haven't actually run this one yet. So I've had it. I've, I've studied it. I really like the way this one looks. It's definitely up soon in my rotation. This program is very unique for MAPS program in that it has some lifestyle programming elements. It has supplement recommendations specifically for folks over 50. And there's also a whole bunch of videos that discuss topics like box breathing, cold showers, and gratitude, as well as a bunch of practical workout how-to videos. This program is 16 weeks long, and it starts with an optional four-week pre-phase for folks who maybe haven't been in the gym in a while. And the intent of this program is to build strength, muscle, burn body fat, as well as optimizing recovery, longevity, and health, which that sounds good to me. There's tons of great real-world functional exercises in here, things that I love like sled pushes, sled pulls, windmills, box jumps, all mixed in with the classic strength movements, things like, of course, deadlifts, squats, etc. This looks like a fantastic program. I own it, and I can't wait to run this one. Okay, so I could go on and on, but there are my top picks. If you're in the market for a, again, an age-appropriate, professionally designed workout program, those are my programs that I would recommend. Now, there's tons of, like I said, there's a MAPS program for everybody. There's MAPS HIT for high-intensity interval training. There's MAPS SPLIT and MAPS PED for those of you who are maybe aspiring bodybuilders. There's MAPS Strong for those of you who are interested in dialing in your beast mode. There's MAPS Powerlift, which is designed to get you prepared for your first or maybe your next powerlifting meet. Let's see, there's MAPS OCR if obstacle racing is your jam. There's MAPS 15 for those of you that are on the go. This is only 15 minutes a day and a whole bunch of others. Now, here's the deal. You can check out all of these programs by heading over to silveredgefitness.com and clicking on the coaching tab. Just scroll down until you see MAPS Fitness products, all in great big letters. That's silveredgefitness.com. You click on the coaching tab and take a look at all of the programs and decide which one is ideal for you and your goals. I promise you, your future self will thank you. Okay, that's our show for today, folks. If you've enjoyed this podcast, I want to let you know that we have other free resources over at silveredgefree.com. There, you'll find our free guides with our top tips on nutrition, exercise, and healthy lifestyle to assist you in your weight loss and fitness journey. So feel free to head over there and download anything that looks useful to you. I'll put the links to everything we talked about in the show notes, and you can find those over at silveredgefitness.com slash 261. As we wrap up our time together today, you can show your support for this show in two important ways. The first is to tell a friend about this podcast and encourage them to give it a listen. The second is for you YouTube folks to click the like and subscribe buttons and you podcast folks to please give this podcast a five-star review on whatever platform you listen to podcasts on and be sure to subscribe and follow so you don't miss any future episodes. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today and until next time, stay strong. Stay strong.